I've been waiting for this day for three months. Watch this, watch this. Holy shit. All right, I'm about to race a motorcycle. Let's see how this goes. The first day I get my 72 volt battery. We've been waiting for this thing forever. Let's get this thing back in my room real quick. Ooh. Looks like the charger's in here. So we're good on that. All right, so it has came. I'm gonna get in here real quick so you can see. This is what I'm first seeing. It's only coming at 22% charge. So we are definitely gonna have to charge this thing. I guess this just turns it off and on. I don't know what we're doing. All right, I'm gonna stop messing with this thing. All right, guys, we're putting it on its first charge. We're at 24 already. This thing is beast. I'm gonna charge it probably, you know, and I'm gonna bump it up a little bit. I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think the new Egg Rider display, I think you can switch to 72 volts until tomorrow when Emoto Bros can uh, tune my bike. But look at, look how tall that thing is. But uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna let it charge for 30 minutes at 10 amps. Should be perfectly fine to do that. We got the bike on this little rack right here and uh, we gotta take this cover off because we obviously know this battery is huge. It's gonna stick probably like this high up. So you gotta take these little uh, little pins off real quick. It's kind of being a bitch. And then after that, uh, you should be able to slide slide these out and then this should just lift up. So we got those off and then just this just slides right off after that. Dang guys, <laughs> this thing is massive. I mean, you see pictures of them and stuff online, but no, this thing is massive. I need to compare it to the stock one right now so you guys can see. And it actually goes in and out pretty easy. I thought it was gonna be pretty uh, pretty hard to get in, get it in and out, but it's just heavy. It slides right out. So let's check this out. Look at this. Holy shit. We're getting this battery charged. I have this set to turn off after a minute. But uh, we are at, focus camera, 89% right now. I think we're charging, what, 8 amps down there? It's crazy the difference, man, after seeing them side to side. So tomorrow, I'm going to hit up Emoto Bros, and they're going to tune this bike. And this is kind of how it looks without the, without the cover on it, without the battery. Now, you don't need this connector anymore, the other one. Uh, if you can see that, that little tiny baby connector that's in there, you don't need this connector anymore. So I pretty much just uh, jammed it away in there with everything else and then this is all you need. I already did a test run, I went out real quick and I rode it, but it's, it's fast, don't get me wrong, but it's not as fast as it should be. So I think they have to tune it and get it all running uh, properly. Cause right now it feels like it's almost the same even though I did turn it up to I think 9,000 watts. It didn't feel that much faster to me, but I also didn't have any protective gear on. So I didn't go over probably like 40, but the torque kind of felt the same. So we'll wait until tomorrow, we'll hit up E-Motor Bros and uh, see what happens. Oh, hey, what's up, brother? Hey, how's it going? Good, man. Glad to hear it. Uh, whenever you got fixed support OP, you can go ahead and read that ID number and connect it. All right, let's go. Uh... Uh, okay, apparently Cole is in a tuning session right now, and uh, <laughs> they only allow one person to do it at a time. So. Oh, wow. <laughs> Yeah, um, I think he should be done in like 15 minutes. Can I just give you a call back when he's done? Yeah, that's fine. All right, let me get this uh, going again. Yeah, man, these bikes became pretty expensive real fast. Yeah, yeah you're telling me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't worry. That sounds good. All right, man. All right, I'll talk to you later. All right, later. Man. Let's go for a ride. We just got this thing tuned. My off-road or sports mode is 12,500. We're going from 7,500 to that. It's gonna be a, uh, it's gonna be interesting. Whoa, oh man. I know, I know for a fact I'm gonna have to adjust 
the settings in the controller, the egg rider display. It's already saying we're at 95 and we're at 83.1 volts. That's not. What's up? <laughs> not much. I'm jamming out here. <laughs> You're like fucking 80 miles an hour right now. Or what? Probably like close to 60. <laughs> Like, this is fucking turbo right now. <laughs> it looked pretty fast through it. Oh, yeah. This thing's big, man. Wait, you upgraded this one? I thought you upgraded the other one. No, the other, no, the other one's always giving me issues, so. But yeah, I got this big bad <laughs> Oh, we'll see. Alright, man. Damn, big ass frog. <laughs> That's crazy. Like a tenth of a throttle, maybe, I don't know, like maybe 10 or 20% throttle, it's just solid like 50, it just stay in there. I do have to get used to it a little bit because now we got uh, my, uh, what is it called, my regions working now, I, I believe so anyway. I have it at 5% and I think it's working. Riley from Emoto Bro said it was working and it looked like it was when it was sitting on the um, When I had it on the stand, it seemed like the back tires slowed down really damn fast But it still feels like I maybe need a little bit more region. I'm not 100% sure So like I'm just chilling like right now. I'm hella chilling Our motor says it's at 59 C. I like the fact that we have all these uh, monitoring stuff now on here so I can check everything out the 72 volt battery is a must. It changes this thing. I've been waiting for this day. Like you don't understand, I've been waiting for this day for three months. All right, so we're at 85. So what's weird is uh, with the new tune, I feel like I gotta get used to the throttle again. Um, I normally had my hand positioned pretty well on the last one, so I knew how to hold like a certain mile per hour. I just knew where my hand needed to be placed at. And now I feel like uh, it's just, everything's totally changed. Watch this, watch this. Mess with that Mustang or what? I definitely feel like I can race now. I definitely feel like I can race some people. God, that was, <laughs> that was fun. That put like a big ass smile on my face. You know what we're gonna do, guys? It's a little sketchy. Stay tuned, come on, let's go. Don't click out of the video yet. We're gonna go on Herndon, which is a 50 mile an hour road. Make sure there's no cops. No cops, please, no cops. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, truck. kidding me wow like i'm not even trying right now because i'm just you know i'm having fun oh my god yeah i've got, I've got nervous I'm not gonna lie i got hella nervous on that i'm really uh like curious on uh what these tires are rated to so that's the reason why i'm a little afraid to try to hit 75 80 miles an hour because i don't want these things to pop i also don't even know what the actual like temperature is on these Woo! dude this thing I, I get what people are saying now like you have to upgrade your brakes 
you just have to upgrade your brake. Like this thing is too fast to not have like good brakes. And, and it, it makes perfect sense. It gets up to speed so fast that when you need to slow down right after you do that, these brakes aren't that great. And I have upgraded pads. So that might be another thing I'm looking into is getting uh, more brakes for it. But uh, I appreciate it if you guys are still following along with the video. I, I, you know, I'm trying to cut it up and make it interesting for you guys, but I'm also trying to give you my first impression of uh, just riding it. I haven't even got straps for the battery, nothing, nothing yet. So God, dude, holy crap. I feel like this pedal kit though, I feel like it's gonna fail because I'm hauling ass, I'm going fast. Look at this, watch this. I think that's the motor, should be the motor, 84. And it's really nice right now though, so if it was like 100 degrees out and I was doing the same thing, I wouldn't doubt that that'd be close to 100. And um, I know the battery will tell me where I'm at, I just, right now I'm kind of moving, so I guess no one's really behind me, they're pretty out there. So let me, uh, let me hit this and see. I'm kind of new to this whole setup. So the battery's saying we're at 40, 46 feet. So the battery's chilling. Oh, okay, so I need to go off of that. Holy crap, that's a lot different than what my egg rider display is telling me. So, oh, okay, I take that back. That's the voltage sag. I didn't know that the battery was gonna do that. Okay, I'm still learning this stuff, guys. You guys are in for the ride, just in case you're waiting for your uh, light speed battery too. I know you probably can't see that, but that says 78% and up here it says 74, so we're actually doing better than i thought we were i'm excited i'm pumped if that's legit like i would rather this be like two percent lower than what the actual battery is my main thing is just the motor tim getting like hella hot you know we got to be careful on that i think motors are like 600 bucks or something i don't know something around there i just don't want to i don't want to buy another one if i have to i have to but i'd, I'd rather not all right so i'm just gonna chill you know I'm gonna be a car. We normally go around like 45 miles an hour in this area, so. Let's just be a car. I still gotta get used to the throttle, so. Good practice. I feel like, oh, there's a bump. Oh, that was bad. The true test of them all is to take it on to Shaw. I really want to get in a race with someone. I feel like that's like my goal is to get a race with somebody. Is that a, I was gonna say that's a Honda Civic up there, but I think it's gonna go this way. So this is uh, this is a real test out here. Uh, last street I need to take home, and hopefully there's no cops. We didn't see any on the last one. There's always some there. So uh, pray for me, guys, if you're still following the video. Pray. Like, who else is doing this type of stuff where they're just, like, riding in traffic by themselves, doing the actual speed limit? was beeping at me it, it might have been the battery or um the egg rider i think it was the battery though i heard some type of beeping noise i wonder if it had like too much of like a voltage sag or something odd we were moving though we were hella moving Someone's pulling up. I think they want to race. They want to race that way. Oh, that guy went through it too. 
This thing is crazy. Like, when you're on a motorcycle and you like full throttle it, yes, 100%, this is not no motorcycle. Like, it's not that, that fast. Like, I get it, you know? But, uh, like, the fact that, like, when you do pull the throttle, it's so crazy. Like, you don't hear anything. That's the thing. Like, you hear something because I'm sitting right on the bike so you can hear the motor. But from a distance, like, 50 feet, 100 feet, you hear nothing. So, pulling the throttle on this compared to an actual motorcycle, it's totally different. Like, no one actually knows someone's like ripping through like the gears are smashing and all this kind of stuff you know so i'm loving it the only thing i'm a little worried about is uh how bad that that voltage sag is because if we're at 62 and it was already like giving me that warning like hey but then again i was trying to go for a speed run real quick just to see what we can do but hey, you know, if that's how I did in the first, like, day, shoot, it's gonna be worse. I'm gonna wanna haul ass everywhere. Whoa! Come on, people. Probably like gotta have a break. Look at that, man. I don't know if you can see the battery. It's just shaking in there. So I definitely, definitely need um, some straps. And I already ordered them. I just, I wasn't sure what to order. So right now I think I ordered some 30 inch straps and I ordered a 40 inch strap and it comes with two, or no, it comes with six each. So whichever one doesn't work, I'll just use the other one. I think the 40 inch straps i think they only go down as low as two inches i could be wrong but i think it was and then on the 30 inch straps i did 1.5 and i'm gonna use two i'm gonna put like one in the front right before uh the display so i don't smash the display down and then i want to do one right behind it where it has that ridge that kind of like goes down uh, right after the plug for the uh, the battery connector comes out so i don't want to smash those either so one in the front basically and then one in the back I can't believe how fast I hit. Like, I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna pull over. I'm gonna show you how fast we actually went right now. Cause my phone with this uh, Speedo app tells me exactly what's going on. Let's go in this uh, new neighborhood real quick. And uh, I'll check it for you. Ah, you know what? I told you I was gonna do it. I'm gonna do it right now. All right, so you guys know. I don't wanna be a liar. 74.04 miles per hour. I don't, you know what I'm going to start doing now? I'm going to do some um, range tests, all that kind of stuff now that we got this battery because now it's all brand new and I want to see what it's going to do. So one of these days I'm going to reset all this stuff and we're going to get a mileage and all that stuff. But man, that's crazy for now. That's, <laughs> wow, man, like, whoo, got me a little pumped. I'm not going to lie, like, I'm trying to hold it in, but nope. Oh man, I got the biggest smile on my face. Like, that's insane insane me and my girl came one day and uh we rode like around in here oh glass uh this is when me and my girl rode and uh, anyway it was out here it was pretty fun i'm not gonna get my bike dirty but it was flooded with water last time it came but uh, i want to get her on the onyx again and i want to go for a ride and hopefully she's down i'm just like i'm just like really worried about her um like wrecking and stuff this is going to be one long video guys i already know it and i hope hope you guys appreciate it i, I really do and uh i you know i appreciate you guys watching it too like I, I really do like the one thing i feel like my channel is missing is comments like i do get some comments here and there but i see people that maybe get 300 views when i get 3,000, and i have like 20 comments and that person has like 80 and i'm like what the heck what am i doing wrong Like, look at that, like 60 in no time. And I lean far forward because I'm afraid. I'm really afraid of, uh... oh man, am I still recording? Okay, God, thank God. I thought I wasn't recording. Uh, oh, oh, a bike. Let's race him. Oh, let's race him. Yeah. 
Hey, what's up, man? Hey, I watch your fucking YouTube. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. I live right up here. I've been waiting to see you. I want to see another oh, sh person. Shit, man. Yeah, well, this is it. And this is the new battery. I'm doing some footage right now, so I'll put you on it. Yeah, that's fucking tight. Yeah, I would pull it up next year. So like, let me see if I can race this guy, even though I know I'm going to lose just to yeah. see. <laughs> uh, I had to stop you. I was like, wait, that looks like that dude. Yeah. <laughs> There's a page on, uh, on Facebook. It's like uh, the Fresno Squids. Yeah, so my buddy Ben, he has a Kawasaki, and I, I, I just made a video with him. Okay. The guy that I was racing the e-bikes, I don't know if you saw the last video that yeah, came out today. Last video I seen. It's been a while since I've been on YouTube, but I've, I've seen a good amount of your videos. Okay. Yeah, yeah he uh, he has a Kawasaki. He told me to join it. He's like, I wouldn't be surprised if you like end up on there. So Because when I ride, sometimes I turn around, people are taking pictures and yeah, videos. Yeah. So. Yeah, there's a... They, the, the, like the thing that they do on there is like if they see somebody that's not really in too much gear then they'll be like oh a squid spotted and then they'll put them on like whatever cross streets are and shit okay yeah i wonder what people would think about this bike though like they might look at it and be like honestly it turns heads yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's why i've been waiting to see it in person because i see you pass by my neighborhood on your videos all the fucking time okay <laughs> yeah, we literally live like a neighborhood apart from each other that's, that's crazy like, man oh, i'm trying to see his fucking bike in person yeah well this is it man yeah, that shit's clean. Yeah, I was trying to, uh, I don't know, I don't know if you wanted to get like a, like just like a stupid like run in real quick. Yeah, I don't care. All right. Yeah. Like something maybe yeah, from like a 20 or something? Yeah, but I'm down. All right. Yeah. I know I'm going to lose, but I think it'd be fun. Like good content. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm about to race a motorcycle. Let's see how this goes. The first day I get my 72 volt battery. Do you want me to be on this side or this side? Um, I'll get right lane. Okay. Because, like, you know how it turns into a one way? Yeah. I'm pretty sure I'll be in front. Just so nothing bad happens, you know? All right. Sounds good. You got a horn? Yeah. All right. Woo. I need to try a, uh, a different gear. For some reason, when I hit it, the bike uh, cut out just for one second. I don't know why. Nice, man. I don't know why, like I hit it and I was good and then the bike turned off for like half a second and then it like went. Well that, that thing's pretty quick. Yeah, it started off pretty fast and then you hit the next gear and you were gone. Yeah, that shit's badass. That shit was oh, fun. Yeah. For a bike, dude, it's <laughs> it's nuts. Yeah. Like for an actual like pedal pedal bike, it's crazy. Yeah, totally. Yeah, alright man. Alright, good one. It's good seeing you, man. Yeah, good seeing you too. I'll comment on your video so we can look up sometime. Yeah, alright. <laughs> <laughs> oh man he's having fun good stuff good stuff yeah i really want to find out why the bike turned off that's the same thing i had on my other setup so i don't know why but hey regardless like i knew he's gonna beat me Definitely fun. <laughs> he's having fun on that bike. Hopefully he's uh hopefully he's safe. The bikes are sketchy. All right, so after all that, 96C. 96C is uh, where we're at, and then the battery, uh, it's saying we're at 53%, and the battery is at 51C. So I actually need to look up all these specs and see what's ideal, what's safe, and all I know is the motor, once it hits 120, which is hella hot, it starts uh, cutting your power. And I think 150, I think it shuts off or 
It doesn't let you have any power. But not bad. 53%. So if I was at closer to 100, I'd be a little bit better on that race. But regard, oh shit, I don't have a, I don't have a color for my battery. I gotta just look. But uh, regardless, like I was gonna lose. I knew that. Fun stuff. So all right, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Subscribe if you're not. That was that was fun. Woo. All right, guys. Take care.